Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little beauty review to shake things up a little bit. Uh, part of the over 50 beauty community as well as a full-time reseller. And I got a few products yesterday and I'm just going to give a mini review of them. And also um, I did, all, did my whole face except for lips uh, because lips is what we're gonna be reviewing. We're going to be reviewing this e.l.f. Uh, lip liner, cream glide lip liner. And it is in the color Baddest Beige, Baddest Beige, Light Neutral Beige, right there. Also, some of my favorite uh, L'Oreal lips. I got two more. I've done two or three reviews on different colors before, but I also have two more. The first is Everbloom in number 254, Everbloom. And then we also have Mauved in number 140. And they are both cream, not matte, part of the L'Oreal Color Rich line. So let's see. <clears throat> First, I guess we're going to swatch and then we'll try them on. And I guess we'll start with the lip liner. So I do want to see how it performs. Um, I don't think I've ever had a e.l.f. lip liner. I've had their brow before, but never their lip. And it's just your sharpened pencil. And let's just give it a little swatch. Ooh, that's very, it's a lot more creamier than I thought. Very nudey. So let's just, I'm not sure how it's going to look with those um, lips. But again, I don't have a mirror in front of me. So bear with me while I use the iPhone. <laughs> All right. Mm. There we go. And if you don't want to look like Joker from Batman, you don't want to go all the way all the way to the end you just want to do kind of a you know let maybe half halfway that looks hilarious oops all right i think that's good doesn't have to be too accurate because you're just going to be covering it up i'm going to start with the lightest color which is mauved and I, w I originally went into Walmart looking for ballerina shoes which is a very very popular light pink that i used to have but i decluttered years ago um, this is very similar. Of course, it has the very, you know, highly perfumed floral scent, which I love, but I know a lot of people don't love. Mauved. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. Smudge it together. And if you do not like that brown uh, beige around your lips, you don't need to use it, of course. Or you just kind of um, blend it out like that. Hope it doesn't look too crazy, but it's a very good everyday light pink. If you're not, um, if you're going to do like a dramatic eye, this would actually work really well because you don't have anything competing with each other. And so that's how it looks. And you know what? Let me swatch it, of course. Okay, we're going to swatch it next to that lip liner. And... I have self-tanner self -tanner on, so if you are pale without self-tanner, then this is going to look a lot darker. Um, maybe on the inner, it's a little bit whiter here. And you could see. Um, maybe a little tiny bit of frost. I think this actually would actually look better with paler skin, but I still like it and I will I will use it. So there we go. Okay, so now I'm just going to take most of it off, the pink, and show you the Everbloom color. And I still have some liner, but you get the gist. All right, so let's do the 254 Everbloom. Just beautiful, it just, it's a really, really pretty color. It's uh, a cross between a true pink and a nude color, in my opinion, so. Ah, gorgeous. Okay. Does that look okay? Yes, it does. This really looks pretty. With tan skin, I think it would all obviously would look per equally pretty. And pale skin, again, Everbloom number 254. And let me just swatch that for you right here. Ooh, wow, one swatch. But you know what? Buildable. Let's see. Beautiful color. Very, very rosy. Um, if you wish you were 
one that likes red lipsticks and don't like I do. This is a good kind of neutrally reddish. Let me just add some to it. Gosh, it's gorgeous. It's really pretty. So, and then of course on a paler skin, oops, get in frame here. I don't know if you could see that, but yes, there we go. And that's how she looks. I'm really a fan of this florally, vintagey type scent. Very, very beautiful. All right, we're just gonna leave that on. So those are all three colors. The um, lip liner, the e.l.f. lip liner in Baddest Beige, the light pink, and the Everbloom. Okay, so we're just gonna take those off on here. And let's talk about the other few things that are that I'm wearing, because why not? All right, so um, the only, I don't usually use foundation per se, but I've been using this now for the past year. The CoverGirl Simply Ageless, Ageless Essence, and it is in si it's size, yes, it's in size. It is one ounce. It is in the shade medium because of the self tan and it's those little beads and it's a dupe for that Chanel one. So um, I think this one is definitely under $20. I think it's under 15 where I think the Ch Chanel one is just over 50. So a very, very good dupe. It's not sticky or tacky. And so I do apply this with a Kabuki brush and I just kind of spot my area. I do my cheeks, a little bit of forehead right here and a little bit down the neck. And I do have a video that I'll link below where I do a full review on this. Really good stuff. I also have a lighter shade for the winter time. Um, as far as mascara, I perm my lashes usually with an Amazon kit, which I will link below in the description. It's really good. And also I have this waterproof great lash mascara that's been around since before I was born. Um, and it's just very, very basic. And that is what I have on my eyelashes. Um, I also have a video, is it a video or is it a short? I'm trying to think. I think it's a video. If I if it's a video, I will link it in the description. Um, if it's a short, just look through my shorts. But anyway, so this is the darkest of the Alme color blushes in Wild Berry number 400. I'm pretty sure I have a video on all of these. And I guess I will very 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 pretty so it's definitely if you have a if you have tan skin if you have a darker skin this is the berry that you want and this is what i have on um, the cheeks and how people are applying um, blushes nowadays where last year it was sort of like that butterfly effect which right here onto your nose like a a light sunflower not sunflower um sunburn effect uh now people are just kind of like you take your make a letter l and you basically, however, however your face is, it works for everybody. So you're just kind of putting it on the nose like that. And then you're filling in with blush on top, kind of like a moon. And then um, blending it out with your brush, finger, whatever. However you're applying your blush, that's what you do right there. Um, and that's how people are just kind of applying their blush nowadays. All right. Yesterday, I did a little short on this Dollar Tree blush um not blush eyeshadow palette in pastels i've never tried dollar tree um makeup before so i was just curious i figured you know for a dollar actually it's dollar 25 has all these really pretty pastels and i only use these type of colors around the summer so has no odor i mean it's your very very basic you you know it's a dollar 25 you're not going to get a mirror you're not going to get a brush or anything but i have this green all over my lid as just kind of a one and done and um let me just swatch that i sort of swatched it in yesterday's short but then i ran out of time so yes it is a light pastel -y green very very pretty um it reminds me of pastel that pastels like that you would art art artist pastels that's what it reminds me of and they're, they're just beautiful even if you just use it a few times like it's just such a good a good little palette for a dollar wow okay and so underneath my eyes i have a pop of color and this is the la girl neon eyeliners uh in shockwave and i've been really liking these bold you know not boring black and brown that, that we all have been wearing for years kind of stepping out of my comfort zone and i have like this in purple and also turquoise and i just have this under under the eye and that's where i put it i just put like a little line underneath the eye for just a pop of color 
Um, I think it would look really, really beautiful if you do have brown eyes. And let me just swatch that for you. Let's see, just kind of run it. Oh, it's very, very, very smooth. It doesn't, um, you know, pucker or anything. Like, you can write a letter with it. <laughs> and so that's what that looks like. I wish it was actually even more neon. I mean, that's neon. But um, I feel like it could have even been like this, that neon. <laughs> anyway, so that is um, what I'm wearing today. And what am I doing today? I have pictures to take. Uh, for my reselling business and I have the gym layer the gym later the gym later try to I've been going to the gym four days a week and I always have crazy eyeshadow and makeup for the gym because why, why the heck not anyways that is it for the reviews again you can um, L'Oreal lippies which I will link in the description um, because you can buy them on Amazon in both of these colors and I will see if they anything that I'm wearing today if it is available on Amazon I'll link it so you could see it um, and then of course Dollar Tree can't go wrong you know Dollar Tree like once every couple months and even if you just Google Do Dollar Tree new new inventory you can see what they have and of course there's YouTube channels devoted to the Dollar Tree so anyways I thank you for watching so much um, and comment below if you have any thoughts and if you have any channels that you want me to check out uh, I've been trying to get more acquainted with the over 50 beauty community um, currently I watch life with Dawn and Melissa 55 I think um, Marnie and of course Busby a few of the fashion ones Shay Whitney um, Brittany V and I'm trying to think uh, Rockstar Mom I mean there's maybe Angie, you know, I, I think about a ton of them that I've come across, but if you know any that are interesting and they're kind of going more old school where it's not just like a big Amazon or Walmart commercial, because I know that's disheartening, but I understand that's people's jobs, but um, I do miss the older 2016 to 2020 beauty community of little tutorials and what's new in drugstores and all that stuff. So if you have any of those that you think I should check out, Please comment below, share, and thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.